It's a farewell, little packet for us to say thank you. Tripod. Tripod lang yun. The last, the first batch who's here, Miss Karen and Ivan, who's been here for six years. I've been also. I've been too. Ivan and JB are staying there. So I've been. I've been. Soriano and Ferraren. Soriano and Ferraren, they've been leaving us. They, they, they are the team who started from first bed six years now, joined by Padua and then Marcos Santos. Yeah. Manipol. Palaka, Palaka. Manipol will be leaving in December. Next year we have Ivan and JP who are leaving next year, May. So the six boys, it's a lot loss for us. <clears throat> like I said, six is too much because we you we we had you the experts nurses in here you put me on contract giving the best care training trying to help our locals and it was a lot we learned a lot from you boys so on behalf of the AD team we would like to say thank you for being part of us and uh, we won't forget you remember your hard work uh, we give a new project I still have some here to put out to tell the group that the projects you've given us. Yeah, thank you for your hard work. Uh, six, six living the, the department is too much. Work. When they replace, they replace four. We are for nine. They replace four, and the four are novices. They are juniors, trying to take them through everything, and it's a big loss for the department. So we are gonna miss you, six who are living us. Like that is for you to say farewell. Thank you. It's to say thank you for your hard work. Yes, um, mm. yes, and now for the department, I will miss you. I know how much, how you contributed, I will miss you boys. <coughs> okay, we'll let Dr. Isi to come and say something on behalf of the ISMI. Thank you, Sister Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a wonderful experience to have our emergency nurses coming from Philippines to join us. Uh, you guys brought a different dimension and sort of rejuvenated our nurses. Because our nurses were like, yes, they have the skills and all that, but they they lack the numbers. And uh, that teamwork really blended nicely. And uh, I, I, I personally enjoyed you guys working with you people. And for a long, long time to enjoy that kind of environment. Where, because I've been to, I went to work in Australia and I know how the nurses and the, the medical team work together. And you brought that, that uh, nice touch to it. Surely we will miss all of you. And uh, six is a big, big um, vacancy. Because like replacing them with how many? Four novices is like training RMOs again in the medical team. And uh, it's a very big challenge. And it's a big gap. And uh, we learned a lot from you guys. Because all of you, got, your curricula is under U, U, uh, US, US, so slightly different but we are British Australia but this is, we learned a lot from you guys as well and I hope you all enjoyed your time here. Uh, on behalf of the medical team I'd like to say thank you so much for being part of the emergency family here in PNG and especially for Mosby. Um, I won't say much with that I would like to wish you all very best in the next um, endeavors where you are planning to go and I want to wish you all a safe travel as well and we won't see you here for the Christmas so I would also uh, wish you an early Christmas break as early Christmas greetings and New Year greetings to all of you and uh, I hope when we come to Philippines we will meet you guys. <laughs> On that note, that aside, 
I have a property in Philippines, so you guys are <laughs> <laughs> looking for place to rent. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in Manila and in the place, a uh, small, the city called, the suburb called Pasi. Pasi. So that's where, where, my, where my property is. So if you're looking for place to rent, then let me know. <laughs> so with that, on behalf of my family and the medical team, as well as our nursing team, Home Gen, we wish you farewell and pass our love and regards to your family back home. And hopefully, you don't catch the COVID-19. <laughs> Thank you. Marcos, anyone wants to say anything? Marcos. Good evening to all of us. Um, uh, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have anything to say with it. It's like, um, it's a wonderful um, for us. It's four years. It's a wonderful experience to work with you guys. Uh, it's a different culture that uh, we, uh, we, uh, we adapted well to this culture. It's a very nice working environment also. But back in the Philippines, uh, uh, the doctor there is different. And it's, it's, the doctor is very approachable and they, they teach us. And they, we learn from a lot from them. So, um, to our to our one to, to our to our now, uh, who's boss, who's um, she's uh, personally she's my um, uh, the best boss I have uh, since I'm working. So. Again, I miss her so. And to my body, men and more less than me. I think you're Thank you so much for for 
the last few years of your service to um, Port Murphy General Hospital and our people and all the best wishes. Um, it's a little bit hard to say goodbye because we've not just been workmates, but we've been friends as well outside of the hospital. And um, just know that wherever you go, we'll always be proud of you and the people that you are and the time that you spent with us here. So yeah, farewell and uh, best wishes in the future to all of you. Thank you. sharing your experience with us. In some of the things I felt like coming to work at Pongen, some of the things I was not confident in doing. But having people around gave us the courage, the confidence to just 
get him there and then do it. Apart from our doctors assisting us, telling us to do this, I also learned from you boys. And now we will miss all that from you people. But like everyone said, if it's God's timing, we just let it be. And we thank him for bringing you guys here and being part of the family and being with us. So, little gift here, when you take it home, have it on your table, so when you see it, just think of the Edi family back in PNG. May not be big, but our token of appreciation to the whole six of you. So, you're standing in the middle of us.